in Nigeria. I don't know what we are trying to prove. Instead of using that money to develop the youth sports, to develop school sporting activities, to develop uh, you know, the people that are underprivileged in our own society, the future stars. Now we finish the Olymp the Olympics just is coming now, another Olympic is coming now, and we don't even have any chance of of game winning anything there. We are not thinking about investing the money into those in, in, into those uh, young athletes so that they could make the country proud on the highest stage. Everything is football for us. We, even now, we just finished um, athletics, you know, international athletics. But Nigeria didn't win anything, only one small bronze. It's a shame on the country because we are not investing in, in those young stars. But these players are already rich. Most of them receive, as, some of them receive as much as $50,000 a week in their club. Some of these players that have been given $10,000, $5,000 here and there, they are, a week, five, five, some of them receive $5,000 a week, some of them receive $10,000 a week, some of them receive $50,000 every week. They don't even need Nigeria's money anymore. Talk less of the governor that is spraying the people's money to these people. People who are already poor. You are taking their money and you are spraying it on people who are already where to do. Is that not madness, you Nigerians? We need to begin to demand accountability from our governors, not just from federal government, not just from Buhari, not just from the senators, but from these governors, we need to begin to demand accountability as well. Now, let me show you the salary of some of these our players. And thank, they are getting this salary thanks to the fact that they are playing for the national team. If they had not been playing for the national team, some of them will not get visa permit to even get the contract signed. Some of them will not even get the rating to get that kind of payment. Look, look let me tell you, Ahmed Musa is one of our players, right? Good, good guy. He's playing in Russia, I think, right, right now. If you know how much he's receiving a week? $34,000. 34,000 uh, no, pounds or dollars, I think pounds, but which is uh, like 12 million naira. Will, there is another one we call Ndidi, Wilfred Ndidi, I think his name is. He is receiving 50,000 pounds a week. 50,000 pounds a week. That's 18 million naira. There is another young man, young guy, 20 something, Keleshi Ihianasho. He is receiving 70,000 pounds. A week, which is 25 million naira. And you are still taking the money of the poor people that is meant for the masses, and still, apart from the federal government paying them, oh, apart from the NFF paying them, you are still going to spray, uh, spray the money on them. What for? What is the logic? For them to win? It is to their benefit to win. At this level, as professional players, they don't need your en 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 inducement en en to, to win. They don't need you know, your, your, uh, you know, your money, your chicken change to win. You don't need, they don't need your incentives to win. Victor Moses is another player for the national team. He's, you know, I think he's retired or something now. He's receiving £75,000 a week. This is £27 million naira a week. The, there is another one that was there. It's called Obafemi Martins. He's receiving one hundred thousand pounds a week, which is thirty-six million naira a week. John Michael Obi is receiving one hundred and forty thousand pounds a week, which is fifty million naira a week. Odion Igalo is another one. He's receiving seventy-five million naira a week, which is two hundred and ten thousand pounds a week. Now, this, apart from that, these people still have adverts, uh, remuneration coming from advertisement, from promotions, from other bonuses. They have enough money. The NFF, the Niger federal government, pays them for their ticket, for their hotel, for their feeding, for all the expenses that are connected to them coming. But yet, these are our players, despite all they get from the government, they will still go and boycott. In the, in, during the World Cup and say they will not come out and, and train or they will not come out and play because they didn't pay them some bonuses. This is apart from what the billionaires and millionaires are paying, you know, and the governors are paying. If I don't even, I'm not even talking about Dan Gute or Ted Dollar or so who will give them their own personal money. I'm not, I'm talking about the government officials, governors who are using the money that is meant for the most vulnerable citizens of their states 
to give it to people who are already multi-millionaire. So, despite all these monetary gifts, these our players will take come and lose. When was the last time we won a World Cup? When was the last time we won anything? But the Western players, they win all the things all the time, and they don't have this madness going on. Yet, they keep on winning. But the governors, who are supposed to use the money to take care of the poor masses, they keep on using that money and wasting They don't even count the money. Because they, 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 you know, they themselves are already rich. They don't understand the people that, who are not rich at all. Proverbs 22 verse 16 tells tells tell about something. This proverb says, He who oppresses the poor to increase his own riches, and he who gives to the rich, all of them will come to poverty. One of the reasons for poverty in our country is because we oppress the poor. And the way you oppress the poor is for not giving them what belongs to them. And then the, another way you oppress the poor is for giving to the, 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 what is meant for the poor to the rich. This is why the cost of poverty is increasing in our land. And our leaders, our governors are responsible. Let me even show you the video of some of these states. Look at the video of some of the states. This particular video, I think it's coming from that Delta state, the, the, the governor that I started with. This is from Delta state or, or ben, uh, either Bendes, uh, what do you call it? Delta state or Edo state. You know, but this is everywhere. This, you can see this kind of picture anywhere in Nigeria. You will see this kind of scenario in, in Ogun state, in Lagos state, in Akwaibon state, in Delta state. Everywhere you will see situations like this when students, can you see? Children are studying the class. This is so heartbreaking. I'm sorry, guys. That governor will not think about these guys. That governor will not even consider, he might not even know that in his own state there is a situation like this. He will not consider people like this. He will not consider... Oh, not just fixing the school, fixing the lives and destiny of these children. And this, not just this governor, this is the same thing with the northern governors, with the middle belt governors, with the southern governors, with the western governors, with the eastern governors. All the governors in Nigeria, they, can we even hear, can you put on the sound? Let you hear the noise. You will see the rain falling. The rain is falling. You see that? And people are in touch. See what is happening. This is going on, and these people are spreading money, spreading, spending money on billionaires. Our players are already billionaires. This is going on right now in our country. And these heartless, soulless governors, they need to be changed. And citizens need to begin to bring these people to accountability. We need to begin to demand accountability. Look at the in the world of computer. There is even no blackboard. There is a blackboard in front of There is even no blackboard there. It's just it's just a wall. This one, this school even here is better than the kind of school that I went to. Eat. Because at least they, they still have a wall and some glasses that sit up there. You can just see that just out of carelessness out of, you know, just negligence is what has brought this particular school to this place. Oh my God. What, do you know what that money that these governors are spraying as, and spending on these footballers, do you know what kind of thing that money could have done? That money would have taken care of struggling sportsmen. You know, there are so many sportsmen that have served the country that are now sick, struggling, no compensation for them, governors will not think about that. That money would have taken care of them. That money would have taken care of the young ones, youngsters who have potential but are struggling. That money could have gone to take care of them. That money could have gone to groom other future Olympic stars. Yet, that money is, going, is not going to that. It's not being used for development of these youngsters. 
but it's being used to take care of people who don't even have the need for the money anyway. They are making that money a week. Now we are just go going to throw away that money. What kind of children? I mean, can you imagine how many children are out of school in each of our states? And because they cannot buy uniform, they cannot buy uh, uh, school, school uh, textbooks, yeah, the poverty is amazing. It's all over the place in our place. All these people are living in poverty and the governors cannot even think about them. What about the other sports apart from football? What are we even saying about those other sports? Boxing, athletics, uh, swimming, you know, uh, you know uh, wrestling, all Olympic gymnastics. The kind of sports that will bring honor to the country and to the states. They are not thinking about that. They are talking. They are thinking about the already rich and wealthy super egos players. Look, our leaders and governors, especially, we have misplaced priority. We must retrace our steps as fast as possible, and they will not retrain their steps unless we, the citizens, force them to do that. In Ecclesiastes chapter ten, verse sixteen, the Bible says, "Woe to you, O land, when your king is a child." And your princes feast in the morning. This is what is happening to us. Our kings, our leaders are behaving like children. And they are feasting in the wrong places and at the wrong time. Because this money that we are talking about could have translated into millions of vaccinations for children who are dying without vaccination in our country. Which could have saved the lives of millions of our Nigerian children. This money could have become thousands of kilometers of roads constructed. This money could have become thousands of new schools built all over the country. This amount of money that had just been spent left, right, and center could have become hospitals in every state, in every town, in every state capital all over Nigeria. This kind of money could have become, you know, it could have been used to supply on to use to use to supply 100% money, I mean, water to all towns and villages in Nigeria, but they are just throwing them everywhere. This money could have been used to solve our electricity problem, giving us 100% supply of electricity in our homes. But what are our people doing? What are our leaders doing? They are feasting in the morning. They must be held to accountability. And the citizens must arise to demand for their rights. The social organizations, the NGOs, the pressure groups, we must begin to arise and demand that no, Governor, this also, so show me what you are doing for the schools. Show me what you are doing for the roads. Show me what you are doing about electricity, water. Show me what you are doing for the athletes. Show me where your future Olympics, Olympians are. Show me what you are doing for sports. Show me what you are doing for, 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 for orphans and for uh, widows. For, show me where the money, that, the, the money that you are collecting from the federal government, their locations. Show me where their locations are going to. We need to begin to arise and demand that our leaders become responsible for the love of God, church, and nation. Peace. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Now, we need to spread this word and we need to do it together. For that to happen, we need your help. Just five little steps that you could help us to spread the word. Number one thing we need you to do is to like the videos. Please go like this video right now. Number two, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Number three, we need you to press and click on that notification bell. You see the bell? Go press on it. And number four, we need you to go comment. Write your comment, good or bad, just write what you feel. Number five, share. Share, share, share on every platform, share on Instagram, share on Facebook, just share and spread the word. Thank you so much. All right, bless you.